Hey guys, today's an exciting day because we finally get to start to cover some of the real important concepts from calculus, and that concept today is the instantaneous rate of change. And so the way we'll start, by, start to introduce this is by talking about the average rate of change, a concept from chapter 1. And so just a refresh, quick refresher, the formula we had for average rate of change between two points was just the difference in the outputs divided by the difference in the inputs. So say we were looking at x equals 3 and x equals or x equals 2 and x equals 0 with the equation f of x equals x squared. So if we plug this into our average rate of change formula, we can see that we'll have we'll end up with 4 minus 0 over 2 minus 0 and we'll end up with this answer of 2. Now the question I want to answer here is what does this 2 mean? What does it mean graphically? All right, and so what it actually means is if we look at the point at 0 and the point at 2 and we draw a, a straight line between those two points on our graph, this 2 is just the slope of that line I just drew. Right? And that's the important thing to get from this slide, that the average rate of change gives you the slope between two points. Now, so how is that going to relate to instantaneous rate of change? So let's take a, take a look at this example here. And so what I have here is a formula that tells you my distance from school after work. All right, and so if you plug in zero here, you'll see that I'm already a mile away from school when work is done. I left early, I'm getting out of here. If I plug in one, I'm two miles from work, right? If I plug in two, I'll be four miles from work. You'll see kind of what I'm getting at. And so the question is, what is the average rate of change between t equals 0 and t equals 2? And so for this problem, we can just use our formula. So we want to do f of 2 minus f of 0 divided by 2 minus 0. And we really want to pay attention to the units here. And so this would be 2 to the 2, which is 4, and 2 to the 0, which is 1, divided by 2. And we're going to get 3 halves, and this is going to be in miles per hour. Right? That's the form of our slope, the, the units of the output per the units of the input. And so the question is, what does this 3 halves mile per hour mean? Does that mean I was always traveling at 3 halves of a mile per hour between 0 and 2? And the answer is no. I was traveling at different speeds, actually. Right. And so maybe let's pretend I was driving in my car, even though this would be really slow. But this isn't saying my speedometer was 3 halves of a mile per hour the whole time. It was just saying if you average it out over the whole trip, that's what it was. This question down here is different, though. It says, what is the instantaneous rate of change at t equals 1? It's saying, what was your speedometer, what, what did your speedometer read at t equals 1? And so the way we can do that is actually just use our average rate of change formula. And so the way we'll do it, though, is we'll look at f of 1 for one of our points, and then we'll just look at a point really, really close to f of 1 for another point. So let's say f of 1.001. All right, so that's these these are my inputs, and so f of that and f of that are my outputs, and so on the bottom we'll have 1.001 minus one, my difference in outputs divided by, by my difference in inputs, and so this is going to give me an estimate of what my speedometer was reading at t equals one, All right? And so if I plug in f of 1.001 into my calculator. I'll get something really close to 2, right? I'm going to get 2.00138675. If I plug in 1, I'm just going to get 2. And then I'm going to divide this by 0 0.001. If I plug all this into my calculator, I'm going to get 0.0001. Miles per hour still. So this is an estimate of how fast I was going, what my speedometer was at t equals 1, where this is an average of what my speedometer read between t equals 0 and t equals 2. So how does this work graphically? How do these two numbers, how do we interpret these two numbers graphically? Well, they're both kind of slopes, right? The first one's definitely a slope, right? Just like I talked about earlier. Graphically, what this is is we look at the we look at the point zero, and we look at the point two, and we draw a line in between these two points, right? And so that that number I calculated for for a three halves, 
that tells me that the slope of that thing I just drew here was 3 halves. So the slope is equal to 3 halves. But what about the other question, the instantaneous rate of change at 1? How do I interpret this 1.387 graphically? All right, and so the way this actually works here is we, we just draw the same two points we drew before, right? We drew a point at 1, and we drew a point at 1.001, so another point really, really close to there. And we want to look at the slope between those two points, which is going to look something like this, right? So it's, it's this line that we end up calling the tangent line. It's a line that will always touch our graph, at that point we want it to, at the point 1, but it doesn't really cross our graph, right? It just kind of bounces off of it. And the slope of this tangent line is the instantaneous rate of change that I calculated here. So it's 1.387. So this has a slope of 1.387. So we're getting into some pretty tough stuff here, but what I want you to focus on is if they ask you for the instantaneous rate of change, what we're really doing is, it, is it's like average rate of change, but it's from two points that are much closer together, right? So we see that here in the formula. We're just using two points that are really, really close together. And we see that here, instead of drawing, for average rate of change, we just draw our, draw our line between any two points. But for instantaneous rate of change, we want to just pick two points that are so close together that we end up getting this tangent line thing.